Hey guys, it's Brand with Investment Joy. We're doing a uh, a rehash, kind of, maybe not. I am in a town of 1,500 people, showing you laundry number three, and this is the one that I do believe we are turning into a laundro arcade, or is that an arcade mat? I don't know what it is, but this is one I actually bought back in October of 2018 and it's been sitting on the shelf forever and it's fine we finally reached a point where I've got the money we've got we're almost in with the uh, second one second laundromat and we're finally getting a, getting attention on this one I've got my new Samsung Note 10 plus and I can shoot finally at least I feel like a good video that will do this place justice I don't know if you can tell it, but this location is huge compared to my other laundromats. The one I shoot all the videos at and the main floor is a whopping thousand square feet. Now, I met a gentleman in New York City who has a laundromat that's a whopping thousand square feet too, and he makes $2.9 million a year in revenue. Obviously, I'm not going to get anywhere close to that with my main laundromat, this one here, I want to say, is almost uh, 2,500 square feet. Um, it's really not in super terrible condition. Like I said, we're in a town of 1,500 people. And the dumbest thing is, this has the nice equipment in it compared to the, the other laundromat that I'm in the process of opening. You look here, there is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 or 12 washers times two because there's two banks of them. 24 washers right here and then two large formats. Then we got a freaking insane amount of dryers over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, 13 dryers. And these are ADC dryers, just like we have over at the laundromat everybody's watching videos of. I think these might be a little bit uh, older than the other ones, but they have same, similar, very similar parts. The LED controls on here are the same. Um, we've got a really glorious looking little bathroom. I've got two of these old as dirt washers here that are pieces of crap that are going to be scrapped. These are 124, so these are fourth generation large washers. I've got fifth generation at my main laundromat, and they're tanks. This is a tank too, but obviously it's been abused. Anyway, like I said, we're going to turn this into a laundromat plus arcade. Everybody on YouTube says, Brandon, you need to do an arcade, you need to do an arcade. So I'm going to give into the social pressure and do an arcade here. And the thing is, I don't know if you can tell it, guys, we absolutely have the space here. Um, the ceilings, I've got 12-foot high ceilings here. They are totally awesome. And they're not in too bad of shape. We're going to have to put in high-efficiency LED lighting. I'm going to have to come in here. I'm going to have to replace a lot of the washers. But more or less, I've got almost enough sitting in my warehouse right now. I think my other location in town, like where my main laundromat is, there's, there's 25,000 people that live there compared to 1,500 here. It makes sense to put my best equipment where there's a lot of people and my, my less good equipment here. But I'm also trying to figure out, you know, drop off laundry service. Um, I met a guy that has a laundromat in a town the same size as here, and he's making 65000 a year in sales. So I don't think I can do, maybe I could do that here on the laundromat portion, but if you'll notice between here and over here, I want to say that's a good 20 feet between this wall here and those ugly plastic seats and the wall over there with the dryers, I want to say that's a good 35 feet. So that's 700 square feet of nothing. That's a folding table. It's a pointless folding table. I could put my folding tables over here, run them along there. I can put my chairs over here in the corner and have plenty of room for games. I, like I've said on my videos, I don't have the, the interest 
and doing my own quarter pushers, but I'm going to set up a much better servicing agreement on this location rather than my other one where I have keys to it because I'm tired of not being able to empty my coins. Sorry, Tyler, I hope you're not watching the video. Um, you're a nice guy, but I, I need to access my keys. Um, I've got several of these pop machines. I think that's a piece of garbage. That's an old Dixie Narco, and I think that the, the pricing's stuck on it. Um, and the neat thing is, over here in the back, I'll shoot, uh, I'll transition to another video, um, or transition to the outside here in a second. We've actually got this door here, and at least the outside, I've got a parking lot in the back. Here, I'll show you here in a second the parking lot in the back. All right, here's the dumpy, awful looking back. I have no clues whose car this is, because essentially from here over to here is my building. There's a full second story above that used to be an apartment. I just don't see any economic way to figure that out to get the uh, apartment upstairs done. Here's the door over here. We're just gonna clean it up. Hopefully it's locked. Yes, it's locked. Cool. All right, so in the back, I've got not a fantastic parking lot, but, you know, enough for maybe three or four cars back here. I don't own this building. I don't own this building here, but um, I own all the, the land here. And I want to say it goes back to this um, pole right there, which is makes for a pretty dang nice lot. Like I said, we're in a small, smaller town, 1,500 people. But the thing is, this is the only laundromat within like 10 miles. So essentially, there's nobody else here to compete with me. And the guy that I know that owns a laundromat in an identical size town where there's much closer laundromats, he's pulling in 60, 65K a year. Um, that's revenue, not profit. His margin's like 50%. So he's, he's making maybe 35 for it himself. Um, that's the one. It's a, there's a new owner on it right now, but... Um, he was pulling out like 20 bucks a day cash in his pocket. And to show you how small of a town this is, look right there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I kid you not, that's a payphone. I have no clue if it works, but I'm in such a small town they still have payphones. At least it's still here. I talked to a guy not too long ago that was in charge of tearing these out. And he said that half of these still have coins in them. So, that's kind of hilarious. But, I mean, it's a nice little town. We're probably, what, 30, maybe 35 miles outside Columbus. The uh, architecture is absolutely phenomenal. There's either, I think that's a Methodist church over there. But it's just small town Ohio. Which is more or less what I love. And then uh, here's a dairy cone restaurant. There's a real estate office over there. Um, and essentially this is downtown <laughs> with my laundromat that's been abandoned for probably two years, maybe three. Um, it's a small enough that city council calls me every so often asking when I'll please get the laundromat done. So, you know, it's, it, uh, it, it's nice to have it. But I've got to figure out how to make more money than the last owner made. Based on my math, he was only making, he was bringing revenue of 25K a year. He had some pretty substantial loans on it. And it's really a situation where he wasn't, he's barely paying to keep the doors open, which is fine. Um, but he also had like part-time staff here, which makes no sense whatsoever. I've actually been called by um, the people that used to be on staff here and uh, they asked if I would be hiring <laughs> part-time employees like six hours a day. Isn't that a cool building? I mean, some of these buildings, you know, I bought this one for $22,500. Um, I mean, it looks like a dump and I had to buy it in order to get my other location in downtown. But that's just kind of the, you know, that's kind of the choice that you have to make. So my plan is to put Vending on the outside since there's like no vending downtown and you know, obviously I've, I've made good money on my other location This one's like all the other laundromats How smart is it to keep a pop machine inside when you can set it outside and have it making money all day long? And then we'll probably put some quarter pushers over here some arcade games I need to figure out what's going to make sense here We'll put our change machine in the last the owner took it. <laughs> I think when he I bought the place who knows um, it's just the funny little things. 
with this new camera setup. I don't know if you can tell that from there to there is 12 feet, um, which is cool. I need to, the boiler's bad here, which normally, that's a, hey, it's not super dirty. I'm sure it looks dirty, but yeah. hey, those are Medeco locks. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's see if I can turn on my flashlight. Okay, so here is the boiler room that is awful looking. There's all sorts of chemicals, I'm sure, back here that are borderline illegal. I'm sure they've been sitting here since, you know, the 60s. So I'm sure there's DDT and whatnot. Maybe I shouldn't even say that. So these are really old. Um, huh, won't even do wide angle with the light on. That's weird. So, and then we go over here. This is where that um, siding is. That down there is really old, crappy looking siding. We'll have to reside it. And then there's all sorts of abandoned stuff. And then here's this massive, gigantic, that's a hot water tank that's coated with who knows what. In order to try and keep it warm, the boiler's right behind it. Like I said, the boiler's a piece of crap. Um, it looks like the ceiling's coming down, but it really kind of isn't. Um, so this will probably need to be partially replaced. Um, you can actually see up into that second story unit up there. Oh, how well you can see it. So. That's kind of neat. Then here's the back end of these dryers that you can access and do servicing on. The dryers are the really nice old style that will last forever. Um, I'm probably going to replace most of them, but uh, who knows. There's that uh, older boiler system. Eh, it doesn't actually, I, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Gosh. I guess I was going off memory, and my memory's like a... Um, Steel trap, rusty and illegal in most states. So I guess the boiler doesn't need replaced. Yay, that's cool. And then there's a much newer Goodman furnace over there. We put these in practically all of our rentals. It's a 96.6 AUFE furnace. Someone has uh, decided to detach it. So that's a carbon monoxide hazard. That's cool. Um, so whoever is in the brain trust that installed that, um, we will have to fix it. But it's a high-efficiency furnace. Um, the boiler doesn't look bad. I'm totally wrong. So maybe maybe I'll get out of this cheaper than I originally imagined. But like I said, this has been on the our plate for since October 2018. It's now uh, uh, 13 months afterward, which it is what it is, you know. So we're going to do the um, laundromat arcade. We're going to set up free Wi-Fi here. We're in small town, Ohio. We might even be able to get fiber here, which would be cool. So, all right. So this is the next disaster I'm getting into. As in addition to the trailer park and the other laundromats and all this stuff's going on at once. But now I'm swimming in money because my investors see that I'm actually doing stuff rather than taking their money and running. Um, several of them are watching the YouTube channel, which is good. <laughs> I guess some of them feel like I'm not stealing their money and you know, going to Mexico with it, I'm actually dealing with rusty, dumpy, holy crap, that's hard, rusty, dumpy dryer. So I'm excited about getting this place done. It'll be fun. We'll put, get some coin pushers in here, get a lot of pop, snack machines, because this town closes down at like six o'clock at night and there's no way to get food. <laughs> they have to drive 15 miles, 10 miles into town uh, to the grocery store to get stuff. So there's nothing here. So it's really interesting to me to figure out what can I offer a captive audience when they roll up the sidewalks at 6 o'clock in the afternoons. It's like 3 o'clock now and everything's kind of obviously, you know, it's visually winding down. So thanks guys for watching. Hit the, the like button. If you like this kind of content, following me through my average day, dealing with the trailer park, not getting shot hopefully, and dealing with uh, rundown laundromats, um, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. We've got a cool Discord going on, and uh, enjoy watching. Thanks, guys.